Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host Fletcher, and today we are doing a review on the Olite i3T EOS. This is a AAA battery powered EDC flashlight offered by Olite. I have probably carried this guy for, I know, at least a month, probably on to a couple months. So, this will just be my thoughts, kind of wrap up the little mini-series I did of this guy. This has been actually a very, very good EDC light. Uh, I probably have just one major complaint, and it's probably actually the, the quality of materials. In terms of every time I dropped this light, it got some kind of dent or ding or something like that if you see around the crown. Every time I dropped it, it got some kind of dent or ding on it. And even with my Phoenix light, that wasn't really the case. Um, and so I would think between the two, there is the Olight might be using a softer aluminum housing or whatever material they're choosing uh, to use for this. It's definitely softer than whatever Phoenix light was using. Um, but besides that, it has been a great light. It's very small, so it tucks right into the corner of your pocket. Uh, I haven't, battery life hasn't been an issue whatsoever, which is really, really nice. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the two power options. Low mode, high mode. It's not a super high output light because it runs off of a single double A. This is actually, sorry, triple A. Runs off of a single triple A battery. So it's still 1.5 volt, but in terms of, you know, energy or power storage, it's, you know, compared to your normal double A or even a battery like power cell light that's rechargeable. It's going to have lower outputs and less output time. I will say that I use this guy just about daily at work. This is a not something I would, thought would become like a necessary tool, but it's definitely something I'm going to continue to carry with me just because it has come in handy a lot. And little flashlights like this are great because you can stow them just about anywhere hide them in your car in a bag in your pocket in a drawer they're relatively cheap too i believe this guy was like 20 bucks so not bad at all i have not had to replace this battery at all either so as you can tell because it is the original battery and so for two months of just you know, maybe a minute or two at a time, just having to use it and then go back to having it off. Haven't had to replace the battery yet, and I don't believe it's gotten dimmer either. So that's pretty good. This thing is pretty power efficient. What's nice, though, is that because it does use AAA, if I did ever was somewhere and I, you know, the battery died, I could probably just go to a gas station and buy AAAs. Same thing with a AA battery. You could just run to a gas station real quick, replace it it'll run nice and easy on you so stuff like that is really nice the clip's actually pretty good it's not too stiff the phoenix light clip is really really stiff and so you do kind of have to fight it to get it into your pocket this one just slides it right in and right out i don't believe i've ever had any problems with this coming out of my pocket there's a couple times actually you know in terms of just sitting down where i was grabbing something and it would hook the light and took a tumble a time or two because of that. But I would say that part of that is just having a lot of stuff in your pockets. So very compact, does not take up a lot of space, very energy efficient. I would say definitely worth the money because my only complaint was from when dropping it, but nothing broke. It's just the fact that it took damage so easily. But when you are buying a cheaper flashlight, that is something to kind of expect, right? They, they are going to cut corners somewhere to make it a good value to you, right? I will say the, the button on the back, very intuitive. You tap, tap again, 
and then press it in for your setting. It will always reset though, so you can even hard tap, see? But I will always just choose the setting I want and then set it, so. But pretty ergonomic, that's mainly how I use my lights or I'll use them like this. Uh, very rarely am I ever like this. I am hold it more like it's a pen almost when I'm looking for stuff. And so I, I tend to like lights that fit that form factor just because I tend to be doing something else with my hand at the, at the same time. So I'll kind of, you know, do whatever I need to. And then I just slide this back into my pocket. So if you're someone who is wanting a very compact EDC light, that Phoenix would definitely be a good option. But this is very compact in the width dimension, and then it just goes deeper into your pocket than the Phoenix light. But... Very slim, tucks into the pocket very easily, very cheap. This would be a good addition to something like a go bag or something like that, or heck, even on a, for like a backup light at work or something like that. I think it could also be your main light. Uh, my only thing would be is you'd probably, like if you're someone who uses a light for hours at a time, most likely you would want something with a little bit more output and energy storage in terms of time of being able to use the brighter light and i think that's probably something that they're their i what is it it's their i5t eos like their larger double a would probably be better at that but if you're wanting something very minimalistic to throw into your pocket definitely recommend it definitely something i'll recommend to friends and family for having a little camp light or a little car light for you know for doing little tasks um Maybe a quick walk around in the dark. Not a bad option. Not a bad option. And I don't ever wear a baseball cap, so when I need to go hands-free, it's always... I know this makes me sound like a savage animal, but I do hold it with my mouth, so... <laughs> but yeah. If you guys do have any questions about this product, go ahead and shoot them down below. I will say that these are listed on the Olight website, and so the more specific specifications in terms of the actual specs will be listed there. Personally, I bought this one on Amazon, and it had them listed there as well. You just type in Olight i3T EOS, and there's a bunch of different colors you can choose from. This ended up being the cheapest one, so I ended up buying this one. Plus, I tend to wear khaki-colored items at work, so... It tends to actually blend in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you've liked several videos of mine or you want to continue to see videos just like this, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Helps out the channel and helps you out because you know when I post new content. Most importantly, guys, don't you forget to stay sharp.